Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning, June 4th already. Woo! Where is the time going? I am headed to have breakfast. Eddie and his mom are in the other car. We are all headed to have breakfast with Eddie's ex-wife, his daughter's mom. It is her birthday today, so we are going to celebrate. I have no idea what the restaurant is. I think it's some little mom and pop uh, cafe thing, so I did not even look up the menu. I don't know what I feel like eating. I am totally unprepared, so thank goodness I have a full day of 30 points ahead of me, um, but I'll need to be careful. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I don't even know what I feel like eating right now. I definitely am going to have coffee, so I did bring some of my fat-free creamer, so at least I can enjoy the coffee low points style. So I will show you guys what I have when I get there. Let's talk about last night for just a quick minute. I had so many Weight Watchers snacks last night. My mother-in-law bought some Weight Watchers brownies and some Weight Watchers coffee cake with Greek yogurt. They were good. I don't think that they were four points and six points worth of good but apparently after several glasses of uh, sangria, I didn't care. So yeah, I had a bunch of those. And then I had, actually before I had those, I had an Ikea cinnamon roll, which was actually better than the Weight Watchers snacks. Anyway, whole lot of points, guys. And this morning, my stomach is upset. Like I thought maybe there was sugar alcohols in the Weight Watchers snacks. There's not. So I guess it's just what you deserve when you eat that many cakes. You deserve an upset stomach. So um, that's what went down last night, guys. I think that I deprived myself way too much over those two days on Thursday and Friday. And yesterday turned into an I want to eat and drink everything day. I am generally okay with drinking more of my points than I should as long as I don't start the mindless snacking. I can drink more points and still maintain my weight, but once I start the after drink snacking, then I'm in trouble. So that's what I really have to watch and that's what totally went down last night. So um, I don't know about this wine weekends, guys. I don't think I should deprive myself to that extent. Uh, I don't know. I need to rethink it all. Anyway, um, it is Sunday, and other than this breakfast, we don't have a lot planned this morning. Um, I think we're just going to do a few errands after we have breakfast, and maybe just enjoy the day. We were going to go to Disneyland, but I just feel like I have so much to do, like all the time. Like I'm never home, and I always have so much to do at home. I need to paint my nails. I want to do my planner. I should finish my food prep. I need to put laundry away. The list goes on and on, so I just don't feel... If I'm going to Disneyland, I'd rather go in the morning, do it for a while, and come home early. Because of this breakfast, it would have been coming home later, and I just... I just need more time, guys. I need more time in my day, but we have plans to go to Disneyland next weekend, so what's another week? I can wait. Anyway, I will show you guys what I decide to have. I will take a picture and let you know the points uh, when we get back in the car. See you then. You guys, I totally went way past the exit. Total airhead moment. Didn't have my GPS on. I went 12 miles past the exit. Yeah, I'm gonna be a little late. <laughs> hey guys, so that was actually a really cute restaurant. It was a converted house and they just had all kinds of seating outside. The inside house part was just cute and they had a lot of really good options for breakfast, really yummy, huge, delicious stuff, but also some very healthy things, and you could also do a half portion of anything. So Eddie got a yummy looking breakfast burrito that was smothered, and I got 
so weird that they would even offer this combination, but I got grilled chicken and egg whites with a side of fruit and some salsa. It was perfect. It was so perfect. I also got coffee. So um, let's talk numbers. I counted one, I think I had about four tablespoons of the fat-free half and half, so I counted one smart point for that. The chicken breast was on the larger size, so I counted five ounces of grilled chicken breast for two smart points. No, for three smart points. I counted three for the chicken breast. And then the egg whites, I figured there was probably about four egg whites there. Four egg whites is one smart point. So all of that on my plate was very filling, very satisfying, and only five points in a restaurant. That's almost unheard of. That was excellent. It was really good. I feel totally satisfied and not deprived. So that's good. I am at five points for the day. Let's talk numbers for yesterday. So I added up everything that I ate last night. It was an additional 49 points. I tracked every bit of that. And here's the surprising part. I still have 36 fit points left. So that's good because usually I blow through all of my weeklies and all of my fit points. So it is Sunday. I know there's still tonight to make it through. So I could do some damage tonight, but hopefully not. I still have 36 fit points on a Sunday afternoon. That's pretty good. Um, so once I make it through tonight, tomorrow will be fine because I am pretty okay with doing 30 points usually on a Monday and Tuesday. So everything starts over on Tuesday. We are headed to do some errands. Um, it's like quarter to one, so they probably won't eat for quite a while. That was pretty filling. And I will touch base with you guys later today. Hey guys, it is 3.03. We are sitting in the Starbucks line. Eddie's entertaining himself on my video. I'm going to get an iced, I'm going to get a tall iced Americano with an extra shot because I am driving back home and traffic makes me really tired, really tired. So hopefully a good shot of espresso will help me stay awake. We still gotta go get shoes. I'm getting new running shoes today. Woo woo! Um, so is Eddie, cause his shoes are trashed. So we still gotta go get shoes and go do one more errand before we get home. I'm going home. You can't go home. You're my captive. You are my prisoner. Triple iced Americano, zero smart points, ready to roll. Okay guys, here's something totally random. I just realized how much I love a really minty gum with a really strong coffee. I think it reminds me of my mom because my mom always had mint gum in the car and she was always drinking coffee. But really, the combination, like as soon as I took a drink of this Americano, I was like, whoa, that is strong. And then I had the gum and it was just, the combination is so good. Try it.
Okay guys, so we just got new shoes at Big Five. These are Asics. I usually go for Saucony because Saucony lasts a really, really long time, but I did not see any Saucony that I like this time. Asic, Asics, Asics. Asics. It's still a pretty good brand, but I just wanna let you guys know that Big Five is super good on prices. We actually stopped at Dick's Sporting Goods first today, and the least expensive shoes, for running shoes that I found were like $69.99. Um, the least expensive running shoes I found at Big Five were, I believe, like $29.99 or $34.99. So that's a huge difference to me. I always go to Big Five because I generally always can find something within the $35 to $45 price range and they're a decent brand. So these were normally $59.99 and I got them for $44.99. Big five. I can't believe they have these at the dollar store. But these are the culprit of my last night's 49 points of eating <laughs> so the ones I had these look really good mint chocolate brownie um, these are four points I had the coffee cake with Greek yogurt for four points that is apple spice and I had the chocolate brownie for six points okay these are good you guys but I don't think they're six points worth of good because they're not super huge they are, oops, they're this big. Six points. Not worth it, guys. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe worth it if you can stop yourself, but if you're going to eat the whole box, there are four per box. If you're going to eat the whole box of these and the whole box of these, then no. No don't do it save yourself and don't even buy them I actually bought more so that my mother-in-law could try them because I ate them all okay guys here is tonight's dinner Eddie's mom made dinner tonight and it's so good so good so here is um, a chicken salad wrap I have one Olay extreme wellness wrap on the bottom for one smart point this is okay on the bottom of that or on the top of that is a bed of lettuce for zero smart points and then here is the chicken salad that Eddie's mom made it's so good and she was so nice and considerate to use my banquet light mayonnaise for zero smart points so here's what's in the chicken salad I have one ounce of chicken breast for one smart point there is some mandarin oranges for zero I believe there is celery for zero there is about a teaspoon of dried cranberries for zero smart points, maybe a teaspoon of slivered almonds for zero smart points, and then less than a tablespoon of banquet light mayonnaise for zero smart points. So I'm actually going to count, I'm going to not sure exactly how many cranberries and almonds there are, so I'm going to count one point for both the cranberries and almonds, one point for the chicken and one point for the Olay wrap. So the chicken salad wrap is three smart points and it's so good. And then over here I have a spring roll. This is a Vietnamese spring roll that I picked up from the Asian market earlier today and that is two smart points. So on my plate is three, what is that? Three, four, five smart points. And then I have one glass of sangria, eight ounces for five smart points. So that is dinner so far for tonight. I am probably gonna go back for more of this chicken salad and probably just have it on a bed of lettuce. So I may increase the stats to add one more point, but there's not that much left. So <laughs> it's really good, guys, really good. So I'm gonna count, what did I say? Five points total so far, and I may add another point. Hey guys, so it is, it's eight, 30 at night and I am hanging out in the backyard. I am actually waiting for 
Stanley to come home. I brought her out here earlier so she could have some fresh air and wander around a little bit and she's been very naughty and she left. I don't know where she's at so I'm just waiting for her to come home. I have looked everywhere and not very happy but I'm gonna wait out here until she comes home because she's my baby and she's out past curfew. <laughs> so while I wait out here for her I am going to finally do these atrocious nails. It's been two weeks with the same color and I need a change. So I want something really bright and crazy and spring-like this time. So I'm looking at, this is like a, I know the lighting is not so good, but this is like a hot pink. <clears throat> this one might be good. That's like a bright peach, maybe orange. I also really love this is a blue like a dark blue and the purple is really good too but I actually have purple on right now so probably no purple this one I really like too that is like a an aqua blue with sparkles I think I'm gonna go with this so that's me tonight hanging out with my sangria waiting for my cat to come home on a Sunday evening talk to you guys in a while guys I just looked up Thai spring rolls in the tracker to track my dinner guess what they're not two points anymore they are now five points it's a good thing I didn't have all three of them I was gonna have all three of them for dinner <sighs> why is Weight Watchers changing points on stuff shouldn't it if it was two smart points a month ago shouldn't it still be two smart points I'm at a loss, but I'm annoyed. And I'm thankful I only had one. Jeez. Guys, it's 9.40 at night, and this naughty little girl <laughs> has finally come home. Mommy's very mad, and Stanley is grounded. Right, girl? You are grounded. That was too long. That was too long. Mm. Mama was worried. I was worried.